Hello, grade 12 psychology class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson eight here, social motives, as I mentioned last time. We have some key points, achievement and failure. Those are two things that um, can motivate you uh, in our social factors. And then we talk about Maslow, which is a dude. Okay, so achievement. The achievement motive conserves the desire to set challenging goals and to persist in trying to reach those goals despite any obstacles, frustrations, and setbacks. Essentially, um, nothing will stop you from achieving those goals. We are motivated to do that thing, um, complete that behavior properly. Um, participants register a high need for achievement if they display persistence on tasks or the ability to perform better on tasks. Um, they are they have a high need for achievement if they set a challenging but realistic goals. If you are competitive with others and you like to win, you are more likely to register a high need for achievement. Uh, if you're tr attracted to challenging tasks or careers, you are likely to have a high uh, need or motive for achievement. So achievement can cause you to do all of these things, to set a challenging goal and to go for it, to uh, attempt a challenging career. Um, what? Are, why do people do things um, like for the glory? Like that is their need for achievement. Kobe had a huge need for achievement. Um, people also are motivated sometimes by the fear of failing. So while some people uh, are motivated by achievement, other people just don't want to fail. Persons displays a fear of failure. A uh, person displays a feel, fear of failure, for example, when they stop taking guitar lessons because improvement seems too difficult. Uh, the person is avoiding um, guitar lessons because they don't want to fail. Uh, that's their motivation to stop. Or she decides to not try out for the baseball team because she probably cannot make it anyway. The motivation to not try out for the baseball team was a fear of failing in the first place. And we all have those fears of failure. I don't want to play volleyball because I don't want to get hit in the face. You know, um, I don't want to try in school because if I fail, it might prove to me that I'm actually not smart. Uh, we all have this fear of failure. Uh, people who are motivated by the fear of failure often find excuses to explain their poor performances or the reason that they didn't partake in an activity. And they do this generally to when I say they, I mean me and you as well. You do this to maintain a good self-image with yourself and with others. Uh, an example would be uh, if a sprinter is motivated to achieve but also you know, fears failing may explain their slow time in a race as the result of missing sleep or a sore muscle. If you receive a poor grade on a test, you may claim that the test was biased or that you had a bad day or that you didn't study that particular material. Uh, you come up with excuses to explain why you failed. So people are motivated to achieve and to do good things, but people are also motivated to not fail uh, and to not do bad things. So here we have Maslow. Um, Abraham Maslow was a pioneer of humanistic psychology. He believed that um, psychology needed to look at people as a whole. They needed to feel confident. They needed to have approval and to have love to have safety, to have a shelter, and to have food. And you needed all that before they could have um, you know, a sense of achieving something, a sense of feeling good about themselves. They need to have other people uh, feel good about themselves and provide those things for them as well. Um, so he placed an achievement motivation in the context of a hierarchy uh, for all people. So we have a pyramid here, uh, and essentially safety and physiological or biological needs are here. They're fundamental needs. Uh, you need to feel safe and secure, out of danger. You need to feel uh, full. You need to be rested. You need to have your thirst um, quenched by water. Before it, you can have your psychological needs met, where you belong and you uh, feel cared for by others and you can achieve and feel confident in what you're doing. Uh, and that all needs to be done before you can uh, fulfill your potential, which is what Maslow called self-actualization, filling your own unique potential. 
So Maslow, Maslow began with biological drives, including physical safety and security, as well as food and water. He asserted that people have to satisfy these fundamental needs to live before you can go on to the next one. So we're looking at these needs here, the fundamental needs, the bottom of the pyramid. If people are hungry, most of their activities will be motivated by the drive to acquire food. If they're thirsty, they're motivated to acquire water. Uh, once you have those things and you don't need to be motivated to acquire those, uh, you can function on a higher level. Until you do, your functioning on that higher level or in the psychological needs will be hindered. Maslow uh, has, is the second, so the second level of Maslow's hierarchy is the psychological needs and the need uh, to belong, the need to give and receive love, to be part of a community, um, to have self-esteem, to be competent at something, to achieve. Um, this is essentially uh, the second level or the middle level of the pyramid and you need to have all your biological needs uh, filled first before you can start to focus on the social needs or the psychological needs. Um, Maslow suggested that these needs function in the same way that biological needs do and they can only be fulfilled by an outside source or you need to take an action to do something to fulfill those needs. Um, so an example of someone missing that would be if you have a lack of self-esteem or love it could make you anxious or tense. And self-actualization needs are at the top. This is the Pursuit of knowledge for knowledge sake. Um, taking care of yourself, reaching your full potential uh, and doing um, your best in whatever you are doing at that time. Uh, these may include the pursuit of knowledge and beauty for whatever else is required uh, or whatever, whatever else is required for the realization of one's unique potential. So once you are safe and you are fed and you have all these needs met like love and community um, an achievement, then you can start to go for self-actualization or reach your potential. So uh, to be creative in the way that we conduct our lives and use our talents, we must first satisfy our fundamental and our psychological needs. Uh, we have some important terms for you to check out and then creating a poster similar to the one that we saw before, but make it your own, uh, a Maslow poster. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. Uh, send me an email, catch me in class. But thank you so much for checking out this unit uh, and this lesson, and I will see you soon.